Hey boys and girls, this time I'm going to be reading you Beaks. This is by Sneed B. Collard, illustrated by Robin Brickman. This book goes along with your bird beak adaptations experiment. Birds have no teeth, no hands, no antlers, horns, or spines, but birds have beaks and beaks are enough. Birds use beaks to get food, but not all beaks work the same. Small beaks peck. These are song sparrows. Sparrows hop along like little kangaroos pecking at things that look tasty. Their favorite food is dry seeds. When they find a seed, the sparrows use their short cone-shaped beaks to crack the husk and swallow the seed. Sparrows can move their upper and lower bills from side to side. This helps them handle even tiny seeds without dropping them. Heavy beaks crush. Macaws have heavy beaks. Like sparrows, many macaws eat seeds. Unlike sparrows, macaws eat very big seeds. With its heavy, sharp beak, the scarlet macaw cuts through the fleshy green fruit of an Indian almond tree. When the macaw reaches the hard nut, it crushes it and gulps down the nutritious seed inside. With such powerful beaks, macaws are able to dine on seeds that other rainforest birds can only dream about. Long beaks probe. Hummingbirds have long, thin bills that help them reach the energy-rich nectar they need to survive. Different bills fit different shapes of flowers. The white-tipped sicklebill hummingbird inserts its long curved bill into the opening of the heliconia flower. With its long tube-like tongue, the bird drinks up the heliconia sweet syrup and then zooms away to the next flower. Hooked beaks tear. Eagles. Eagles and other birds of prey are hunters. Their beaks are designed to help them eat flesh. Bald eagles feed mostly on fish. They fly low over a lake or stream and snatch their prey with their long talons. An eagle takes its fish to a perch or net nest. Then the bird uses its sharp hooked beak to strip away the fish's scaly skin and pick the meat off its bones. Beaks are made light. A toucan's large colorful beak looks heavy, but it's built like a honeycomb and is almost as light as a feather. The toucan uses this long light tool to pluck berries and insects from tree branches. The beak also allows toucans to identify each other. Unfortunately, a light beak is easily damaged. Toucans sometimes break off pieces of their beaks while hunting or driving away other birds from a favorite fruit tree. Beaks can also be sturdy and strong. Woodpeckers use their sturdy pointed beaks to pound, drill, and tear into wood as they search for insects. Some, such as the acorn woodpecker, chip away holes where they store acorns and seeds. Fortunately, a woodpecker skull is reinforced with an extra thick bone. This keeps the bird from getting brain damage while it's woodpecking away. Beaks are even made upside down. A flamingo's beak looks ridiculous until you see how the flamingo eats. Flamingos feed with their heads upside down, standing in shallow lakes and marshes. They draw water through their beaks by using their muscular tongues as pumps. Special strainers in the beak filter out the tiny plants and animals that the flamingo eats. Pigments in these food give the flamingos their bright, dizzying colors. A skimming beak. Skimmers. Like the flamingo's beak, a skimmer's beak looks like an accident. The bottom bill is longer than the top. The skimmer puts its backward beak to good use. To hunt, the bird flies with its lower bill slicing below the water's surface. When it strikes a fish, the bird snaps its beak shut, trapping the fish in a scissor-like grip. In this way, skimmers can catch fish without even getting wet. A swishing beak. Spoonbills have a flat paddle-shaped beak. To find food, spoonbills wade into shallow water and swish their open beaks back and forth. At the same time, the birds use their feet to stir up mud and animals in it. 
Like skimmers, they hunt by touch, snapping their beaks closed on insects, fish, and other prey. Hunting in groups probably helps spoonbills stir up more food than hunting alone. A stabbing beak. Herons. A heron also wades, but it hunts differently than a spoonbill. A heron walks slowly through the shallows, pausing frequently to study the water. When it sees a fish or other animal, the heron quickly stabs its beak into the water and seizes its prey between its bills. Herons are strong birds and can catch and swallow surprisingly large fish and other animals. There are also plunging beaks. Pelicans. A pelican fishing is one of nature's most thrilling spectacles. When a pelican spots a fish, the bird folds its wings and dives straight down at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. As the pelican crashes open mouth into the water, the pouch on its lower bill puffs out to net its prey. After the water drains from the pouch, the pelican swallows its meal, but only if a sneaky seagull doesn't steal it first. A prying beak. Crossbills. A crossbill looks like it would starve to death with its screwball beak. However, the cross tips of its beak allow the bird to pry apart the scales of pine cones and other cones. This exposes the cone seed, which the cro crossbill laps up with its sticky tongue. Despite their strange beaks, crossbills also eat fruit, insects, and the seeds of other plants. Of course, beaks can do more than just get food. Beaks can show off. Hornbills. Like toucans, hornbills grow large, brightly colored bills. The bills of many hornbills are topped by a special structure called a cask. Biologists believe that the cask helps hornbills attract mates or identify the age of other hornbills. A hornbill's cask may also amplify the bird's calls and help in knocking down fruit and fighting off enemies. Or build. Bower birds. Many birds bear ne build nests, but male bower birds also build elaborate courts or bowers up to six feet tall. The birds construct the bowers with sticks and often decorate them with brightly colored objects. The bower's only purpose is to attract females to mate with. Once the male has mated, he takes no part in nest building. The female flies off to build a nest and raise the young all on her own. Beaks can also be used to dig. Beaters. From their name, it's not hard to guess that bee eaters use their long, thin beaks to catch bees. Once it captures a bee, the bee eater whacks it against a hard surface to knock off the bee's stinger and squeeze out its venom. The bird also uses its bill to dig a home. Bee eaters nest in large colonies where they dig burrows into dirt cliffs or the ground. These burrows provide shelter and safe places to raise the bee eaters young. Beaks can change colors. Western goals. The beaks of many birds change colors as they grow older. Seagull beaks are good examples. They go through several color combinations during the bird's first two or three years of life. Afterward, the bills continue to change colors between seasons. These changing colors probably help gulls recognize each other. They also give bird watchers headaches as they try to identify birds such as this western gull. Or, once a year, get shed. Puffins. Puffins are handsome birds that dive underwater to catch small fish in northern seas. The puffin's beak can hold up to two dozen herring at one time, but it is remarkable for another reason. Each breeding season, male puffins grow special vividly colored sheaths around their beaks. These sheaths help the males show off and attract females. When mating season ends, the puffins shed their bright decorations until the following year. Over time, beaks change and change again. Hawaiian honey creepers. Over time, all life changes. We call this process evolution. Often one kind of plant or animal evolves into many different forms. Scientists believe that all of the Hawaiian honey creepers evolved from a single kind of finch that flew to Hawaii thousands of years ago. Over time, the original finch involved more than 40 different forms or species. About half of these species have become extinct but 20 different kinds of honey creepers still live in Hawaii. As you can see, their different beaks allow them to survive in many different ways.
including the beaks we see today. Like all other living things, birds and their beaks continue to change as time flies forward. Some of the beaks we see today will survive into the future. Others will disappear or be replaced by new beaks that will allow the birds of tomorrow to survive better. This weeding out and replacement process is called natural selection. It's part of how plants and animals evolve or change over time. And it's what has given us the wonderful world and the wonderful beaks we have today. Test your beak ability. By now you should know that a beak's major purpose is to get food. On this page, there are six different birds in their beaks. Just for fun, study each bird and ask yourself, what would I eat with this beak? Boys and girls, this kind of goes along with the experiment that you'll be doing, testing out the different beak types. Get a couple of different things like cereal, mini marshmallows, rice, or even dried beans and see which beaks pick up which food the best. Birds have different beaks based on what they eat and where they live. 